thanks everyone for joining us for this remote press conference um, ahead of tomorrow's game. Uh, we're joined by Vernon Philander of Pakistan. Loopholes uh, when it comes to Hassan Ali's bowling, conceding too many runs. Uh, what what are your plans for tomorrow's match against New Zealand? Uh, will you go for the uh, same uh, bowling options, or uh, you have a diff- different uh, uh, opinion going into that match? Thank you. Yeah, first of all, thanks for you know, for complimenting us on the win. Um, so look, I think the final eleven is completely up to the coach and you know, the selection panel. As far as as Hassan is concerned, you know we know what a champion bowler he is. I mean. There's always going to be someone on the night that, you know, unfortunately going to travel. Um, but I think he's bowled really well. He's, you know, he's sold some good heart. I mean, you know, maybe just the execution there and there, you know, that obviously wasn't on, on par. But, you know, as, as from a general overall bowling performance, I think the boys did pretty well. Um, it was a sword boundary, which he had to defend as well. So, yeah, I mean, those things are quite, you know, quite tough and difficult at, at times. But uh, in general and as a whole, I think the boys bowled really well. Uh, just a simple request to everyone, please raise your hand so that I can understand and get to know that who wants the question. So let's move forward, Usman Khan, Suhail Imran and then Usman Khan. Yes, hi, Varna. Baba has said in his uh, pre-event press conference uh, that the teams are this wins by the bowling. Uh, keeping in this mind, uh, are you how much you are confident uh, with the, your bowling lineup and uh, just uh, some few words about Shine Shah uh, bowling, Shine Shah Afridi's bowling uh, yesterday night. Yeah, I think, you know, he's, he's a brilliant bowler. And I think, you know, you almost have to give him the freedom, you know, to be able to strike. And uh, I think that's exactly what we've discussed. I think from my side, um, you know, the consistency do come into play, obviously. Um, and yeah, I mean, you want to encourage the guy to to keep being positive, you know, because obviously if, it's, if you strike with a new ball, you're putting your team obviously ahead in the game. And yeah, I would like to encourage him, you know, to, to keep going with that trend. Um, of course, for me, consistency is important. But um, yeah, I mean, like we all know, bowlers do win new games in T20 cricket. So we want to make sure that, you know, if they keep having a positive outlook on the game. Um, and yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, it'll take a lot more wickets in the series. Uh, Vernon, uh, my question is for you is that uh, from your playing days till now, uh, what is the difference you have seen in Pakistani team after that empathetic win over India? Yeah, look, I think for me, you know, having played against Pakistan over the years as well, um, I think the, the big thing that has been lacking is probably a little bit consistency. Um, and yeah, I mean, we really want to highlight, you know, the intensity, that, you know, which they play at. I think last night you could really sense that they have step, stepped up a gear, in, you know, in how they went about their business. So for me, it's really about making sure that, you know, you, you play with a good intensity um, and you really can keep it there for a long period of time. So I think for me, it, it probably boils down to intensity. Uh, Saeed from the Telegraph. Hi, Vernon. Uh, hi, good afternoon. Yeah, 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 afternoon. Yeah, hi, Vernon. Uh, uh, could you please talk us through all the uh, through all the three wickets that uh, that Shahin took yesterday, and also then also a word on uh, on the angle that uh, that we see. The left, uh, the left arm paces to create, you know, which goes on to make life difficult for for the batsman. Yeah, I think it's it's always a wonderful asset to have, you know, left arm, you know, bowlers that can bowl it at high pace and swing it. Um, I think he's he's a wonderful talent, um, and you know, we've identified his strength. You know, it's obviously to be able to swing the ball at at high pace. Um, of course, you know, the thing that we have to highlight is, is the lines, you know, which he had bold, which I think was fantastic last night. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's just, you know, such a wonderful talent. So you want to make sure that you encourage him, you know, to keep doing what he's doing. But I think for a long, for a really long time, um, you know, left arm quicks, you know, have really lost probably that in-swinging ball. Um, and I think, you know, he's such a great exponent of, you know, of that in-swinging yoga or in-swinging ball to the right handers. Uh, Shahid, if you want to ask your question, please.
शाहिद कैन यू हेयर अस शाहिद शाहिद हाशमी को कह रहे हो जी जी शाहिद भाई डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन मैं तो मैं तो पूछ चुका लेकिन मैं एक और पूछ रहा था वर्णन यू हैव बीन इनटू द बॉलिंग कोचिंग फॉर द लास्ट 2 3 वीक्स हाउ गुड आर पाकिस्तानी बॉलर्स हाउ गुड लर्नर्स दे आर एंड हाउ दे आर प्रोग्रेसिंग अंडर योर योर गाइडेंस या आई थिंक आई हैव सेड इट बिफोर दे आर हाईली highly skilled bunch of bowlers uh, and i think i've i've been watching your local t20 tournament in in pakistan as well there's still a lot of you know good quality seam bowlers you know obviously in the system as well so for me yeah i mean it's 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 quite a sort of stunt but i think the guys is taken really well to the way that i want to do things um and yeah i mean it it's it's it, it all boils down to that working relationship of really trusting one another but i think you know from a skill point of view probably some of the best that i've ever seen and and, and obviously come across so it really excites me to be working with them um and hopefully i you know i can i, I can hopefully take them a step high you know in their careers and and, and hopefully for a long time to be successful within their own careers last question zahir adams zahir adams has raised his hand so can ask hi vernon zahir um you obviously it was your first uh, experience the other night with uh, pakistan india Just what 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 was that like, and what's the experience been like getting into your new role? Yeah, I think it's probably no greater way to start it uh, with the India Pakistan game. Uh, I think you know it was probably one of the biggest spectacles that the cricketing world will ever see. Um, you know, Pakistan versus India. It's such an amazing you know atmosphere to be a part of. And yeah, I mean to, to come out tops, you know, it really um, you know put the you know you had a cherry on the cake. But I think for us as as a squad as a whole. the guys have really prepared well and i mean you could have sensed the calmness amongst the team amongst the captain you know and uh, yeah it, it's it's you know it, it was a great um, spectacle like i said you know to be a part of and uh, hopefully you know we can go from strength to strength and uh, yeah hope yeah hopefully we can you know get, make, make the playoffs and hopefully into the final later on in the competition thank you so much everyone uh, kelam do you want to ask anything or should we leave the press conference No, nothing further from me. Thank you very much for your time, Vernon. That concludes the press conference, and good luck for tomorrow. Thanks, Vernon. Thanks, Vernon. Cheers. Cheers.